This is the tech stack that I use to build apps within one week. So for those of you that don't know, I've been trying to build my very own SaaS product over the past two years, and I built roughly six different products and they've all failed. But over the past two years, I really honed in on a tech stack that I really like as a solo developer to really make my apps super quickly, iterate really fast. And I want to share that tech stack with all of you. So first, let's talk about which framework that I use to actually build the applications. If I'm building a web application, I always use Next.js. Next.js is basically a React.js fork, which basically uses React.js to create the applications, but it comes with a lot of additional features such as server-side rendering, incremental static rendering. It's been really great. React server component support, it's been really great and I can't recommend it enough. And whenever I ship these Next.js products out, I always host them on Vercel. That's my platform of choice. It makes it so seamless, so simple. And especially as a solo developer, I don't want to waste my time figuring out all my deployment pipelines, my CI, CD process, and Vercel makes it so, so easy. So just know that whenever I'm shipping out a web application, it's always written in Next.js and it's always gonna be hosted on Vercel because it makes my life so easy. Now, if I'm creating a mobile application, that's where things get a little bit different. You might think that because I use Next.js, which is React-based, you might think that I use React Native to build my applications, but I actually use Flutter and it's been pretty good. I actually posted a video not too long ago where I review Flutter in the perspective of a React Native developer. And honestly, I've been pretty impressed with Flutter. So theoretically, it's supposed to be faster than React Native because it compiles into machine code rather than using a JavaScript bridge to wrap all the Android and iOS components, but who knows? I can't really confirm that, but I actually think the developer experience of Flutter is pretty good. So definitely check it out if you have the chance. But if I'm really being honest, it doesn't matter Flutter, React Native, or developing natively with Android or Swift. It doesn't really matter. You just need to choose one and stick to it because you can build any application of any complexity that you want with any framework that you choose. I just so happen to use Flutter for now. I like using Flutter or React Native because it lets me build the iOS and Android application at the same time. And then the way that I deploy these applications applications onto the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store is via a tool called Code Magic. It's a super helpful tool. I can't live without it. It makes the deployment process onto the various app stores super easy. Highly recommend it. So that's how I create the front end for my various applications. And then in terms of the back end for what I use for like databases and authentications, it kind of varies between two major choices. The first choice is going to be a platform called Superbase, which is an open source Firebase alternative. I made a video about it before in the past. And honestly, it's a pretty great developer experience. It's an all in one type of provider. It provides authentication, databases, cloud functions, security rules, super convenient to use. And it's really great if you just want to have everything consolidated in one place. But at the same time, I've also built a handful of other apps using PlanetScale as my database provider of choice, using Prisma as my ORM. And then for my authentication provider, I even use Clerk. It's a little bit more fragmented because everything doesn't live all in one place like Superbase does. But I do think because each product is more specialized than what it does, it leads to a better experience. I think Clerk is a better authentication provider compared to Superbase. I think the planet scale database experience is a little bit better compared to Superbase, but there are definitely tons of advantages to using Superbase as well because everything is baked into one product. So really it depends, but I have been leaning on the planet scale and clerk setup and lately instead, primarily because of clerk, because clerk is a really great authentication platform. It really does so much out of the box for you. So I've been leaning on that. And then because of that, I've been using planet scale as the accompanying database provider with clerk. So we've talked about how I host my front end. I've talked about how I handle everything on the back end side of things in terms of my database and authentication as well. And last but not least, the platform that I want to talk about is how do I handle feature flags, experiments, and analytics? And the platform that I use for that is something called PostHog. PostHog is an open source like product as a service, like product stack tool. It's essentially a product that has a lot of other products built into it, all related to developing and shipping better product. It provides user analytics, it provides feature flags, it provides A-B testing. It's a really great product and I don't develop any product without it because it's one thing to just create an app and ship it out in the world for people to use but you need to figure out how exactly are your users interacting with that application that you just created and post hog does exactly just that it lets you track all the analytics create funnels to see where is the user going how are they interacting with your application how many daily active users are coming how many weekly actives how many new users you're adding every single day and then when you're creating new features rather than launching them out to 100 of users all at one time you can gradually roll them out with feature flags you can roll them out to very specific groups of people as well. It's a super powerful tool that makes the development process so much easier and most importantly, so much safer with the addition of feature flags and a bunch of other features as well. So that's my go to stack for building out applications super fast. And with this stack, I've been able to build applications within one week and ship it 
out for people to use and track and analyze how exactly the users are interacting with the app. It's a very simple stack, just like three layers, essentially a front end, a back end, and then like a product like infra layer with post hoc. That's all you really need to build an application. Really that simple.